five, three, two, one, go. Very quickly, the Red Alliance scores. Blue Alliance comes right back, 71-57, adding cargo in the fray. Final seconds of the autonomous period. 22 to 18, and the Blue Alliance out in front. They were able to score a quintet early on. That'll reduce the total number of cargo they need to score throughout the rest of the match to earn the cargo ranking bonus. Red Alliance trying to close the gap. The Blue Alliance looking to increase their lead, and they do so. Last piece of blue cargo scored by 7157. That'll be uh, Mubotics. Near side of the field, that's a Canadian powerhouse for the Blue Alliance. Adding more cargo in through the upper hub. 1325 with an errand shot. Inverse Paradox missing the upper goal that time. Their alliance partner able to connect twice, 7157, adding more and more points. Move Botics supporting their alliance and increasing the lead. Blue Alliance has earned the cargo ranking bonus with less than a minute remaining. 70 points by the Blue Alliance. Red Alliance trying to get something going. 24-12 appears to be dead in the water. The Robo Totes not moving at all. They now become an obstacle that the rest of the teams have to navigate around. That means the Digital Minds and the Blue Crew have to carry the load. Blue Crew now climbing, firmly in place on the mid rung, reaching up now for the high rung, and they're there. 13 seconds left. Blue Alliance robots beginning to climb as well. Red Alliance with one traversal climber, and then the Digital Minds lost their grip, fell back down to the floor, unable to climb back up before time expires. Blue Alliance had Blue Alliance wins this one 114 to 48. Our next match will be qualifying match number 54.